fucking 51. No, I can't believe it. It's been uh, a, a fun journey. And so we're back today and uh, we're having a first uh, a first in the 51 days. We're going to have one of our dedicated watchers of story time uh, who wrote in and had written a request to say a poem. Uh, Sylvia Mapes, who's with us today, is, gonna, is going to uh, read a poem she wrote about missing libraries. So uh, I'm going to, after I sing our hello song and welcome everybody, she's going to be uh, singing us our poem. Are you there, Sylvia? Yes, I am. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us in story time. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Um, and what grade are you in, Sylvia? I'm in fourth grade. Fourth grade. All right. I have I have a rising a fourth grader and a second grader and a kindergartner and then a baby. So I know about I know about fourth grade. I'm very familiar. Um, one more week of school, right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Um, so we're going to read, I'm going to sing our welcome song and I'm going to do our shout outs. And then we're going to have two really cool books today. Uh, so the first is, is related to our art project. We have an art project with VizArts and there are two coloring pages on my Facebook page that you can print out that go along, uh, with this book inch by inch, which is written by and illustrated by Leo Leone. Uh, and thank you to Harper Collins for letting us use this book. So this is the one that goes with the coloring project from VizArts. Thanks to VizArts as always, great arts organization in Rockville. And if you do that coloring project and you wanna send me uh, any of your pictures that you do, I'll, I'll show them online to everybody. And sometimes we post them in our studio. So I, can, I have some wall space that I can, that I can put it. So let, if you wanna send me those, please do. Uh, and then we have another book called Anna at the Art Museum, uh, which is written by Hazel Hutchins and Gail Herbert and illustrated by uh, Lil Crump. And this is uh, from Anik, uh, Anik Press. So thank you to them. And I've never read either one of these books, so I'm excited. Well, we'll see, see how they go. Uh, all right, let's do our shout outs. Um, and then we will say our welcome song. And then Sylvia is gonna do a very special poem for us. So I'm really excited. I have not heard this poem yet. So I'm looking forward uh, to hearing it. As you know, we started story time over two months ago now, uh, because libraries are closed and I'm lead for libraries for the county council. And I've done to a lot of story times. I have four young children. And one of the many things that I miss, and I know many people are missing, are the in-person story times that uh, happen at the libraries. And the good thing is we've started this virtual story time and the library has some that they do as well. Uh, and so we try to, we're trying to meet that need, but we know it's tough. So. I'm really happy that everyone's been able to join us. All right, so I wanna thank Mateo and say hi to Mateo and Robin and Kiera and Elijah and Jason and Ashley uh, and, and Zahenya and Elio. Thank you all for joining us yesterday. Good to see you all. Um, and as always, I'm happy to say hi to anybody. Just let me know and we'll sing our welcome song and then we will uh, kick it off to uh, Sylvia, all right? so. Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. Oh, with our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. Oh, with our friends at story time. We wave and sing hello. All right, we then we get a deep voice, right, Sylvia? You remember the deep voice? Yeah, I know people can have deep voices. <laughs> Very good. We stop and sing hello. We stop and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stop and sing hello. Hello, everybody. All right, and hello to you, Sylvia, again. Hello. You ready for your poem? Yes, I am. All right, what, what's it called? And, and t before you read it, tell us what it's called and what made you want to write it. Well, it's called um, In the Library because uh, it ends with the line in the library. Uh, you'll see that later. And this was basically um, a challenge uh, for this media Zoom I had like like weeks ago. And they said, you can either find a poem, there was a find a poem thing, or write one. So I decided to write one. And I just thought libraries, media, that just goes together. Yeah, yeah. And, and so you wrote it a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Very cool. Well, 
I've got Mr. Mortimer here. I tried to put him behind me, but he 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 jumped back down. He wanted to be very close in here. So so uh, what's the title again? In the library. In the library by Sylvia Mapes. Go ahead. It's all yours. <clears throat> Oops, I just put the wrong pages off. That's I love libraries. Do you? Well, if yes or not, let me tell you why. First of all, they're as tall as the sky. Also, they're filled with books. It's a place of reading, not feeding. A place of delight, where books give you flight. It does have history. Let's take a look. First, crackle, the Library of Alexandria is burning. Now Ben Franklin here to change new libraries in his city because he took the reins. There's one thing in them, books, books, and more. All you can read galore. Here, let's go explore. Real stories or not, let's go see more. Small books are big. Whoosh, you're in a brand new world. If you'd like, let's go on a dig. This is the world I can choose. Or with the library, I shall never lose. Sights to see every time. Oh, poetry book, rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. Hustle, wrestle, city. City is always a bustle. But the library is as silent as a whisper. A place where I belong. Oh, library, sing your song as graceful as a bird as I go knocking on your door. In it, information, information, and more. Library, you're my place of wonder, of magic's greatest, the lion's roar, of magic, of information I've not seen before. Books in you are great, I'll never debate. Library, come to me, now open up your gate, so I can read books in you forevermore. Library, library, you're forever mine. Here I'm at peace, here I am at peace. Here I am a new person, here is where I belong. The library's books say many things, of peace, of love and adventure, of hope and respect, of you and someone new. Come with me on this adventure, too, and hear the library's sweet song in the library. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, that, good. Was, we liked that. That was such a beautiful poem. How long, how long did it take you to write that? Um, I don't really know. It took, I guess it took me a while. Uh, I didn't really time it. So. Yeah, over over several days. No, I wrote it in like one day. One I setting. Was, okay. I wrote it in like maybe three minutes. I don't know. It's very good. Well, it's a great example to all of our people that are with us that you know you can be creative and and write things that, especially right now when you probably have a lot of emotions about things that are happening, can't go to libraries as much. You had an idea, you wrote about it. It's a good way to get things out. So. Hmm. kudos to you for doing that my daughter Aaliyah who's the fourth grader is she she writes poems a lot too so it's really that's a it's a great way to express yourself so thank you for sharing with us thank you for having me here no problem no problem so we'll see you soon hopefully you'll you'll watch the rest of story time to see the cool books we've got today all right see you later Sylvia thanks for joining all right that was pretty cool, huh, Ms. Mortimer? Yeah, I really liked that. Hopefully our librarians that saw it liked it too, because that was like an ode to libraries. All right, let's start with our first book, which is going to be Inch by Inch. And this is an award-winning book, the Caldecott Award, so it's gonna be good. All right, inch by inch. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. And the inchworm, he gobbled him up. Don't eat me, I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then, me then measure my tail. Looks pretty long, huh? That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches, as he inched on the robin's tail. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured.
The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. Ooh, that was probably long, huh? Because flamingos have long necks. He measured the toucan's beak. It's another pretty long thing. How many inches do you think that was? I'd say 12. I don't know. What do you think? The legs of the heron. Those are long, too. The tail of the pheasant. So he's just a busy, busy inchworm measuring everything. And the whole hummingbird. Hummingbirds tend to be a little smaller. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I will eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Uh-oh. Then the inchworm had an idea. Ding. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. La, 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 la. I don't know if that's what he's saying, but he sang something. The nightingale. The nightingale sang, and the inchworm measured away. He was climbing up and down this uh, piece of leaf or plant. He measured and measured. Kept going. Inch by inch, he went. Until he inched out of sight of the nightingale. He kept going. He was running away, inch by inch. The end. You know what I was thinking? It was that he was either going to run away like he did, or he was going to measure how long the nightingale sang. And so if, if he went by inch, a second each inch, so maybe he would measure the time, but he did the right thing. I think he ran away <laughs> or inched away. Very cool. All right, let's wash our hands. You know, we've got to do that every day, especially as it gets warmer, 90 degrees plus today. So if you go outside, keep uh, in your immediate family, social distancing, keep your face covering, keep your distance. Okay, we want to keep safe. Um, and we sing this song twice. And once we're done following the instructions, our hands are clean. That's why we do it. Tops and bottoms with soap. Tops and bottoms and water. Warm water in between. In between. Rub them all together. Scrub them all together. Now they're clean. Now they're clean. Tops and bottoms. Tops and bottoms. In between, in between, rub them all together, scrub them all together. Now they're clean, now they're clean. All right. Let's read Anna and the Art Museum. I love art, so this is going to be a cool one. And don't forget, you've got your inch by inch that has some humming, the bird on there, and they weren't in the inchworm. Draw me some pictures, whatever colors you want because it's your art and I'd love to see it. And so would your parents or your loved ones or your brothers and sisters, your cousins. All right. Anna was not happy. Everything at the art gallery seemed old and boring. Uh-oh. Sometimes things can seem that way, but they, not, or they aren't always if you dig a little deeper. Anna would have to entertain herself, she thought. Roar! She said to the lion, you know we love roars on story time. Let's do one more roar. I need a roar. Roar! You okay? All right. She said to the lion, quiet, please, said the attendant. Sometimes you just need to roar. It's a cool, old, maybe Egyptian looking lion or from a long time ago. Peekaboo, she said, she whispered to the baby. 
careful, said the attendant. When Anna carefully lifted her foot onto something that looked like it was for children, the attendant shook his head, no, and pointed to the sign, which said, do not touch. Now, why would they build that with a step and say, do not touch? I don't get that either. These are some kids on this picture running at this on a school tour. So Anna was not with her group. So Anna and her mother had a talk. It was one they had earlier, but perhaps Anna had not listened quite as closely as she should have. No shouting, no running, no climbing, no touching, her mother said. That seems like you can't do much of anything, huh? After that, Anna pretended that she was a small bush in a forest of tall trees hiding amongst the adults. One of the trees swayed to the side. There was something interesting beyond. Anna moved closer and closer. Anna didn't know paintings could have alarms. Bing, 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 when she touched the painting. Uh-oh. Everyone turned and stared. Anna quickly ran away. On the second floor, Anna found a window nook. While her mother looked at paintings, Anna gazed lovingly, or excuse me, longingly, out at the street. Longingly means like, oh, I wish I was there. And the harbor beyond. If only the museum could be turned inside out or the world outside in. She wanted to be out where those boats were in the harbor. In the next gallery, she pulled out her snack. But why was the attendant looking at her that way? Are you hungry, she asked. We can share. That was nice of her. He was not hungry. No eating, he said with a firm voice. She could only drink at the water fountain in the hall. So another rule, she can't eat either. And then she saw the half door open. It said no entry at the top. When a door is half open, it is very hard not to wonder what lies on the other side. Anna, cautioned her mother softly. No entry means we aren't allowed. But, 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 Anna began. Once again, the attendant was walking toward her. This time, however, he surprised her. It's not busy today. They might let you in. Would you like to ask, he said. It was like a secret workshop, Anna thought. Whoa. Here, art was studied, repaired, and cleaned. As years of grime were removed, the face of a young girl slowly emerged. It was a bored, face, a grumpy face. Anna knew that young girl. She hurried to thank the attendant. She's just like me, Anna told him, or I'm just like her, which made the attendant smile. And now something had changed. On the floor above, Anna danced patterns of her own. She felt colors swirl around her. But it had been a long afternoon. Even her mother was ready to go home. They've been walking around a lot. They took the fast way down on the elevator, pausing only long enough for Anna to whisper to the lion, I'll be back. Then they pushed open the wide gallery doors and Anna skipped through, letting inside and out flow together. Remember as she said, she wanted inside out and outside in? Good. 
very cool. And then here's some of the pictures that were in the uh, magaz in the magaz um, in the art museum. The one with the lion is called Panel with Striding Lion, circa 604 to 520 62 BC. So that's a long time ago. It's over 2,500 years ago. Babylonian from Mesopotamia. Okay, so Mesopotamia. Very cool. Art can be cool, even with all the holders. All right. So remember, if you there, print out those two, I can show you guys real quick. Print out those two uh, uh, coloring pages from BizArts on my page and color them today. I'm going to do that with my kids. And I would love, would love to see them if you have any uh, thoughts. One of them is the, if you can see that, is the, uh, I think the parrot, right? His beak. And I thought there was another one that I saw. Yes, the other one is the inchworm. And the grass inching along. So you can print that one out too. So do have some fun with those. Do your do your art project. Thanks as always to VizArts. Let's see if anyone said oh, hello. Let's see if anyone said hello. All right. I see Ashley. I see Jessica Tipton said great job, Sylvia. Yes, Sylvia did a great job. Naomi, uh, oh, that's Ashley again. Audrey, hi, Audrey, good morning to you. So we said hi to a few people there. Um, so we will see everybody tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, last day. We'll be back, I think, again at 11.30. Um, and yes, we will be here at 11.30. And we'll see you tomorrow. And then we'll get ready for the weekend, all right? We'll have two cool new books tomorrow, maybe something else, who knows? Thank you again to Sylvia. I hope everyone has a great, great day. All right. Anything to say, Mortimer? No. All right. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends, it's story time. We clap and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. But with our friends, it's story time. We wave and sing goodbye. Bye. See you guys tomorrow.